Mrs. Delphine has been seeking for the fruit of the womb for the past two years. Within this time, she equally was going through chronic pains in the stomach, searching for solution to no avail. Mrs. Delphine finally makes her way to the Champions International House of Prayer, Baminda, through her mother who came all the way from Dock in the Northwest region and visited the church. Not should be taken that Mrs. Delphine had been watching the Champions TV at her home but criticized the move of deliverance as she saw people passing out evil substances from their bodies as you can rightly hear her say during her testimony. In fact, when I came here during mass prayer, I saw the way people were like vomiting and so on and said, hmm, this one I'm sure that they're faking it though. Her first day in the Champions International House of Prayer, Mrs. Delphine finds herself undergoing the same type of deliverance she had been criticizing while watching on TV which she struggled to resist the deliverance to no avail. I came not feeling as to throw out. I did not want to throw out. I came out swallowing the thing. I said, no, I will not throw out. I was sitting somewhere around there. And I made sure when the ushers passed and went behind, I could not hold it again. I spat on the ground. And then I was like trying to hide it or something. But as the service was going on and the mass prayer was still going on, I felt that urge of like throwing out. I could not hold it. I throw out. A man of God was praying, praying and came and touched my stomach. I felt something turning in my stomach and I kept on throwing out here. The man of God, Prophet Walter Enin, under the prophetic unction, reveals to Mrs. Delphine about the pains she has been undergoing in her stomach and explains to her that after ministering anointed water, the pains will cease and she will conceive her baby. Exactly two months later, Mrs. Delphine discovers that the pains has ceased and she has conceived after two years of searching. Mrs. Delphine quickly runs to the altar of God at the Champions International House of Prayer and testifies what the Lord has done for her. I waited no mercy. The first day nothing, second day nothing, one week nothing, one month nothing. And today I'm going to get testifying what the Lord has done. And then advises all those who behave like doubting Thomases, as she used to be, that the God of Prophet Walter N.N. is a true God. Nine months later, that is, early February 2020, Mrs. Delphine puts to birth a bouncy baby girl. Not should be taken that, immediately after Mrs. Delphine puts to birth, she begins to bleed excessively and the doctors are unable to see what is causing the bleeding. As she is being rushed to the theater, the only thing that comes into her mind is... After I brought forth this child, I was bleeding seriously but they could not trace where the bleeding was coming from. They did not know what was causing the bleeding. So they had to make calls, call the doctors and so on until they had to rush me to the theater to find out what was happening. And on my way, on the stretcher, on my way to the theater, I told my junior sister who was with me, I said, take my phone, look for the number of Prophet Walters and call him. Tell him what is happening and tell him to pray for me. That was what I remember. I told my sister like that and she was dialing the number to call the man of God. They took me to the theater. When I regained consciousness, I was told that as they, were, as they took me to the theater, they discovered that after some time the drugs they gave me and so on, it automatically stopped the bleeding. They did not even have to do anything on me. Wow, God is really mighty. Immediately the man of God offers prayers for her. The bleeding stops instantly without any further effort by the doctors to stop the bleeding. Mrs. Delphine received freely without being asked of a seed, a special offering or any precondition before prayers. As the Bible says in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8, freely you have received, freely you shall give. Not should be taken that Miss Delphine have been coming for prayers since she conceived her baby as you can see in one of the occasions in this video as the man of God prays for her and the baby kicking in her womb. Indeed, the Lord God Almighty, the God of Prophet Walter N.N. is a living God and a true God, a loving and kind God. What are you waiting for? Come like others and be blessed. Your destiny helper Jesus Christ of Nazareth is here. To God 
be all the glory. I've been looking for the foot of the womb for two years. I kept on coming until God blessed me and I put to bed as safely like the Hebrew women, woman as the Bible as the Bible says. The name of the baby is Anaclea Nipafon. Where you Oh my God. Nipafon means Jesus is king. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Indeed Jesus. And, and the anel means God has favored me. Amen. That vomit, that we vomit here, that we see people vomiting here like this. Even though it may look like speed, nothing ordinary in the, in the eyes, it looks ordinary but there is something behind it. I believe that what I vomited was what was really blocking me. And after vomiting, my womb was opened and that's why I conceived. And I've witnessed those who even register to stand on the prayer line. They don't pay anything here. They don't pay anything. You go somewhere else, they'll ask you that before you register, you stand on the prayer line. You have to register and they ask you for money. And even though they'll say the money is for something else, but here, I've never paid a franc. Yes, throughout my deliverance, throughout my prayers and everything. I've not paid a franc. In fact, dear brothers and sisters, I did not know that one day I'll be standing in front of this church, testifying of the goodness of God. God healed me from stomach problem, and not only that, He surprised me with a blessing. Yeah. Jesus is king. Yeah. When I came here, it was my mom who lives in Dog. She heard about this church, even though she heard it from me. She asked me about the church and came here. I did not come home. I came and showed her the place, and I went me back. Okay. She came and worshipped here and told me that you need to go to that church. You will be blessed. She kept on pressurizing me until one Sunday I told her that, okay, I'll follow you to that church. I came to the church. When I came to Champion, I knew that this is a place where I will be blessed. As I came, fortunately, by the grace of God, a man of God located me. And he told me that I have a stomach problem. That that problem has been disturbing me. But that I should not bother. He will pray for me and he will bless water. And when I will use that water, the problem will be over. Amen. Yeah, my mother advised you to come here today. Your mother advised you to come here. Yeah. Where is that beautiful mama? God love this family. And very soon, this family will start jubilating. Thank you, Jesus. You people, by knowing this place, has become a blessing to your family. Amen. Hey! Be free. Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't be afraid about your stomach. As I started praying for you today, everything will come out. You begin to drink water. I will pray for water you will be drinking, okay? Thank you, Lord. Like a choco, when they were blessing water, I took off my water and he blessed it. After that, I asked my mom, that is that all? Am I supposed to see him again? He said, no, it's all. Let's go. We went home. I was using the water as a man of God's advice. And the next month, just one month after, I was expecting to have that stomach problem. Because I always have it after my menses, during ovulation. My stomach will pain me until, to me it was just like, ah, it will be over. But when I went that month, I was expecting the pain to come again, but nothing. Mm. I had nothing. Yeah. I went there the first day, the second day, nothing. That was all about the pain. Yeah. As if that was not enough. Yeah. The fruit of the womb that I was showing. It was like I was already used to since I've been expecting the fruit of the womb, but nothing was happening. But that month, as I did not feel that pain, I waited no mercies. The first day, nothing. Second day, nothing. One week, nothing. One month, nothing. But today, I'm like to get testifying what the Lord has done. In fact, when I came here during mass prayer, I saw the way people were like vomiting and so on. I said, hmm, this one, I'm sure that they're faking it though. I don't know whether I'll be able to. I came on feeling as to throw out. I did not want to throw out. I came on swallowing the thing. I said, no, I'll not throw out. I was sitting somewhere around there. And I made sure when the ushers passed and went behind, I could not hold it again. I spat on the ground. And then I was like trying to hide it or something. But as the service was going on there and the mass prayer was still going on, I felt that urge of like throwing out. I could not hold it. I throw out. Unfortunately, one usher told me that no, you have to go outside for your deliverance to be complete. I went outside, I stood outside as the man of God was praying, praying.
when I came and touched my stomach, I felt something turning in my stomach and I kept on throwing out here. into her life to stop children and to torment her stomach that she had been having stomach problem and she could not conceive when the thing came out what is she testifying now she's testifying that what was not possible in the past is now is now jesus is king oh, yeah. mass prayer here this the thunder power storm power that moves in here and the devil that is over your life cannot resist. Hallelujah. Amen. So when they hear the uncommon directly here, so you will go in the course of using the water I will pray for and give you. The water you bring from your home I will pray and give you. When you go and be using with faith, that's how your own becoming up in the house, in the in your houses, you begin to have running stomach, pushing the power of God begin to cleanse them out from your system. Remove them out from your system. So you will go through at the week you will be it by air they will be going so you will be going to urinate almost more than how many times per day your urinary tract will not rest many days as you urinate you will go again just like that all that is deliverance it will not come in the air to do the vomiting it, it will go through many other means are we together yeah. just be connected in the name of the spirit they will just be connected to the prayer if people can call from overseas the man of God. You people are praying inside that church and only on my phone. I am repeating the prayers and passing out. My name is Vera Kumbong. I am calling directly from Kuwait. So during that prayer, I connected. As Papa was praying, I was also praying here. Anything they were saying, when they give a topic of prayer, I pray on top of it. When they say pray against anything that is in your life, that is not of God. Let it transfer by fire. My body became very hot and I started vomiting. What about you that you are in front of the anointing? Koro, koro. I want to advise viewers all over the world that this water they see that the man of God blesses here is very powerful. They should not joke with it though. They should take it seriously. And I want to advise all doubting Thomases to come here and see. Yes. I came and I have seen. Let them come and they will see. Yes. No matter the problems, no matter the situations and difficulties, let them come here and by the grace of God, it will all be over and over. I kept on coming until God blessed me and I put to bed as safely like the Hebrew women, woman as the Bible as the Bible says. The name of the baby is an Claire in the power from where we were. Oh my god. Glory be to God. Amen. So what is the meaning of the name in English? Nipafon. Yes, Nipafon means Jesus is king. Oh wow. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Indeed, Jesus. And and the anel means God has favored me. Amen. Yes, Amen. and then Nipafon means Jesus is king. That's her name. And the king Nipafon. Powerful. Jesus is king. Mm. Jesus mighty name. Father, anoint your daughter and the claim in Nipafon. Thank you, Father, for your mighty strong hand that has brought this child through miracle, O oh Lord, to be. Thank you, Father, for seeing the mother through delivery successfully. My God is a very big God. You know the fellow, we know the life. Jesus is king. I'm Madame Wero Delphine. I'm coming from Upstation Domena. I knew about the Champions House of Prayer on TV. Even though when I knew about it, I was uh, reluctant to come here. Yes, but my mother encouraged me and uh, caused me to come here for the first time. She told me that the place was a place to worship, that I should come and see. 
that if I worship here, I will like it because she herself came all the way from Dub. She came and worship here and she really, she was blessed. So she encouraged me to come here and worship that I will be blessed. And I came and I was blessed. So when I came here during mass prayer, I felt as to vomit, but I do not want to. I kept on swallowing the spit that was coming. Uh, I was feeling the urge to throw up. I did not want to. I kept on swallowing until I could not hold it anymore. I had to vomit. And um, the ushers, they asked me to go out for my deliverance to be complete. When I went out, the man of God prayed for me. And I threw out more. And he told me that my what I was throwing out was what used to pain me in my stomach. So do you believe that these vomitings and things that you were removing out of you is what has opened the way out for your baby to come? Do you believe that that is what has made it? Seriously, I really believe. I believe that that vomiting, what I vomited was what was blocking me from conceiving. I strongly believe that that vomit, that we vomit here, that we see people vomiting here like this, even though it may look like spit, nothing ordinary in the, in the eyes, it looks ordinary, but there is something behind it. I believe that what I vomited was what was really blocking me. And after vomiting, my womb was open and that's why I conceived. Amen. Amen. So what is your advice to those people that they keep on saying, what kind of people are doing vomiting, vomiting, vomiting? What kind of choice is this? And the thing is looking nasty. What can you really advise them? To me, I'll advise them that they should not. They should know that that is the deliverance. Those people, they, what they are vomiting is the poisonous substances, the obstacles, the things that have been disturbing those people, afflictions, the things that have been afflicting those people in their system that have been troubling them, and that they should know that when they vomit like that, truly they are delivered. So they should not say that the thing is maybe turning their neck or what, what, what. They should know that it is the deliverance of those people that are vomiting like that and some people think that is only going to nigeria i told them that oh i'm telling them now viewers those that have not been opportunity to advise them even those that have advised them they will still hear me saying it there's no need thinking that you have to go to nigeria or go somewhere else because whatever you're looking for in nigeria or wherever is here and it's in a better way you go to nigeria you spend more money and you may not even be able to see the man of god here we are blessed. We have a man of God that you even call him online and he's there for you. He picks the call, he answers it, and he prays for you. So they yes. in fact they should come here and whatever problem they have will be solved. With all this process of your deliverance and now that you're testifying, have you paid any money? Have you paid anything? Never, never, not even a franc, not even a franc. And I've witnessed those who even register to stand on the prayer line. They don't pay anything here, they don't pay anything. You go somewhere else, they'll ask you that before you register, you stand on the prayer line, you have to register and they ask you for money and even though they'll say the money is for something else, but here, I've never paid a franc, yes, throughout my deliverance, throughout my prayers and everything, I've not paid a franc. I used to have pain in my stomach, but during the ovulation, that's after menses and so on, but I used to take it to be something, I do not care about it, I thought that it was just something maybe normal, even though it was rest and disturbing me like that. I knew that it would be something for some few days and it would be over. I was surprised when the man of God told me that I used to have pain in my stomach, but I should not worry. When he will bless water and I will drink it, everything will be fine. Thank you, Lord. Don't be afraid about your stomach. As I started praying for you today, everything will come out. You will begin to drink water. I will pray for water you will be drinking, okay? I realized that the pain was what was disturbing me since I've been looking for the fruit of the womb. For how long? For two years, because my first child is about two years. Yes, it was after that child was about one year. I started, I was trying to conceive again and I discovered that it was uh, difficult. So I then realized that it was that pain that was disturbing me from conceiving. So when the pain was over, as a man of God prayed for me, I discovered that that same month, that same month, I did not, the month that I did not feel the pain, as soon as he prayed for me, the next month, I did not feel the pain and I discovered that I was pregnant. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Tell us when you came and you saw people throwing out, how did you feel? Because so many people <laughs> feel so strange. Did you feel like what kind of a thing is this? Ah, to me it was strange. I was looking at it and say, ha, ah, whether these people, I don't know whether it's really true or maybe they're faking it or maybe they're faking it. I don't think I can throw out. That's what I was telling myself. I said, no, I cannot throw out. Though. And that's why when I was feeling the urge to throw out, I kept on swallowing. I said, no, maybe I'm the one feeling as so I don't think maybe it's not real. So I kept on swallowing until I could not hold it anymore that I was forced to. 
before I realized myself I had threw out. Okay. And when you threw out now and the man of God prayed for you and prayed for water for you, you went and used the water and that same month you are telling us that you conceived after looking for a child for two good years. Yes, yes. My advice to those who are watching me is that Champions International House of Prayer is a special gift for us and Prophet Waters and he is a special gift for us that God has sent to us in Bameda. We are blessed to have him here and to have this Champions International House of Prayer. You know when I used to pass here, I would look at this this house and say, ah, I don't think, I will not even think that I will ever find myself here to come and worship. But now I tell you, it's a place to be. Amen. Yes, I encourage everybody passing through any difficulty or problem to come here. Don't minimize this place. Don't minimize the Champions International House of Prayer and don't minimize the man of God, Prophet Walters N.N. God is using him in a wonderful way. I am a great testimony to that. I encourage you to come here and you will see that all your problems will be over in Jesus' name. Amen. I kept on coming until God blessed me and I put to bed safely, like the Hebrew woman, as the Bible, as the Bible says. But then after I brought forth this child, I was bleeding seriously, but they could not trace where the bleeding was coming from. They did not know what was causing the bleeding. So they had to make calls, call the doctors and so on until they had to rush me to the theater to find out what was happening. And on my way, on the stretcher, on my way to the theater, I told my junior sister who was with me, I said, take my phone, look for the number of Prophet Walters and call him. Tell him what is happening and tell him to pray for me. That was what I remember. I told my sister like that and she was dialing the number to call the man of God. They took me to the theater. When I regained consciousness, I was told that as they, were, as they took me to the theater, they discovered that after some time, the drugs they gave me and so on, it automatically stopped the bleeding. They did not even have to do anything on me. Amen. Amen. What a powerful testimony that is. The name of the baby is Anel Claire Nyi Parfum. Where you Oh my God. Glory be to God. Amen. So what is the meaning of the name in English? Nyi Parfum. Yes, Nyi Parfum means Jesus is king. Oh wow. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Indeed, Jesus. And and the anel means God has favored me. Amen. Yes. Amen. And then you power for means Jesus is king. That's a name. That mini po mini tolinga. And we chop the any problem la. That mini chafwe, mini po fwe, toli, toli my champions international house of prayer. No matter problem, you can chop the la. I love my car, toli, mini le ansa wenga. Do you let from bunker? Amen. 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 Keep watching Champions TV.